Parts of Centrifugal Pumps Introduction A pump is a device used to transfer different types of liquids or gases from one place to another by applying mechanical action. These devices typically convert electrical energy into hydraulic energy. Generally, pumps are operated by a mechanism, reciprocating or rotary, and take energy to do mechanical work that moves the working fluid. This equipment is capable of lifting liquids from low to high levels and moving fluids from low to high pressure areas. The different parts of the centrifugal pump are listed below. Shaft and shaft sleeve. Impeller. Casing. Suction pipe. Delivery pipe. Shaft and shaft sleeve. The shaft is a central part of the pump, which rotates with the connected impeller. It is coupled with the prime mover to get the power. The shaft fits with the ball bearing. A shaft sleeve is also employed, which prevents the shaft of the pump from leakage and corrosion. One end of the sleeve should be sealed. 2. Impeller The impeller consists of a series of backward curved vanes. It is mounted to the shaft of an electric motor. An impeller is a rotating part of the centrifugal pump. It is enclosed in a watertight casing. The centrifugal pump impeller is divided into three types. A. Open impeller an open impeller consists of vanes attached to a central hub and mounted directly on the shaft. The vanes have no walls or cover around them, making open impellers weaker than closed valves. Still, these are generally quick and easy to clean and repair. B. Closed impeller The closed impeller has both front and back cover plates. In this, the impeller vanes are sandwiched between two cover plates. These are installed in radial flow centrifugal pumps and can be either single or double inlets. Also, it uses to obtain pure water. C. Semi-open impeller Semi-open impellers have a back wall cover plate that gives mechanical power to the van, while the other side remains open. Semi-open impellers are used in medium-sized pumps. This impeller is designed for debris loading fluid. Three casing. The casing is an airtight passage surrounding the impeller. It is designed in such a way that the kinetic energy of the water discharged at the outlet is converted into pressure energy before the water leaves the casing and enters the delivery pipe. The casing works as a cover to protect the system. The casing of the centrifugal pump is further classified into three types. Volute casing, spiral casing. It is surrounded by the impeller. Such a casing provides a gradual increase in the area of a flow, thus decreasing the velocity of water and correspondingly increasing the pressure. B. Vortex Casing A vortex casing is a circular chamber introduced between the impeller and casing. Here the fluid from the impeller has to first pass through the vortex chamber and then through the volute casing. In such a case, there is a better conversion done that is velocity energy into pressure, and it has good efficiency than the volute casing. C. Casing with guide blades. In a casing with guide blades, the blades surround the impeller. These blades are designed and arranged in such a way that the water from the impeller enters the guide vane without shock and creates a passage of increasing area, through which the water passes and reaches the delivery to leave with pressure. 4. Suction pipe with foot valve and strainer. The suction pipe has two ends. One end is connected to the inlet of the pump and the other dips into the water in a sump. A foot valve fits at the lower end of the suction pipe. The foot valve is a one-way type of valve that only opens in an upward direction. A strainer is also fitted at the end of the suction pipe to prevent the entry of foreign bodies into the suction pipe. 5. Delivery valve. The delivery valve also has two ends. One end is connected to the outlet of the pump, and the other end delivers the water at the required height. Thanks for watching. Like and subscribe our channel.